Hey YouTube, it's me Elise. I wanted to give you guys a review on the Revlon Color Stay and the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. I know there's like a bazillion like reviews on both of these products, but I just wanted to give like a review on it because I noticed that um, though like there are a lot of reviews of it, um, there's not a lot on the 400 Caramel or the Caramel of this brand, like the um, well same brand, but the Photo Ready. Um, I hope that this helps somebody. Um, just, I'll be just listing the pros and cons of both and then um, just basically what I like about it is just my opinion, you know. Um, I like the Revlon co Color Stay, I can pretty much say that overall. I really love this product because it is transfer proof, it keeps your face matte all day, and it like you can build the coverage like you can make it as light of a coverage to the fullest of coverage it's great like I can really say that this is more of an HD foundation compared to this one because like whenever you take pictures you don't look like you're ash or white because there's no SPF in it and um, it doesn't go anywhere it lasts all day and if you have a primer it even extends the wear of it even more just the cons of this product is that it's kind of hard to wash off so you might have to wash your face twice or use like an exfoliator and um, obviously it doesn't have a pump you have to you know pretty much it's kind of it's kind of messy you have to like lay it on a palette or put it on the back of your hand or something different you know it, it's not a lot of control with it um, like it just it moves everywhere like it's, it's very runny it's very very runny product like it, it doesn't like just go in your hand and stay there like it moves if you know but um other than that though like that's not a big deal to me like I really like this product I've been using it for about two years now and um I play the violin in my uh at my college and whenever we do um concerts like orchestra concerts we have to like wear like pretty much pretty much stage makeup if you're a girl and um it's a big deal because um they like record it and stuff and they want everybody to pretty much look up to par so um like I've been using this foundation like since the like two years I've been at my school like in high school I really didn't wear makeup but like once I got an orchestra they said hey put on makeup so I didn't want to buy anything too expensive and I didn't want anything that might break me out so a lot of my friends said hey try the color stay and I really like it and then um, another pro about this product is that um, like there's a huge color range like huge like any color that you can really think of is like it's just it's pretty much available to everyone um, that's what I really like about it. Um, but uh, the only the only thing I don't like about Revlon is that they don't make the colors like a wide range in every single product. Like this one, the Photo Ready, the color range sucks. <laughs> like literally, it sucks. Like I don't know if um, you guys noticed, but like basically, like after this color, there's two shades darker, and then after like above this shade there are a bunch of lighter shades but it doesn't work for everybody who's lighter like it's either too beige or not enough yellow or it might have a little bit too much red in it and it's, it's really not a great range for everybody to like really just pick it up and go like oh I want to get this like with color state you can just go in in the um in the Walmart and it's a no-brainer go like oh this is my color this one you pretty much have to experiment like there is a color like a step down I think it's a uh, cappuccino it's too dark um, it has too much red in it and um, it's pretty much like a, a straight up like NW45 like if you're NW45 you will love the color that's darker than this the cappuccino this is the caramel right here um, you'll really like it um, it didn't work for me because I don't have as much red undertones in my skin I have more of a um, yellow undertone and um, NW45 yes it is my my um, powder that I used to finish this product off but at NW45 like if you have yellow undertones the red in the NW45 neutralizes your face, makes it look very like complete, and it works very well compared with this. But um, not to get too technical, but um, I really like um, like what I really like about this product is that it's easy to go on and it has a pump, and it, you can control it. And if you put it on the back of your hand, it's not going to like go everywhere. And then also it has buildable coverage as well. Um, like it's not full coverage. Like you can make it um, a light to a medium. Um, which is not bad, you know, like if, if it's like during the summer and this product works for you, it will work well um, because it has an SPF 20 in it and um, if you have dry skin and you want like a glow, that will work well. Here are the cons. If you have oily skin, this will not work well for you. Like if you have oily skin, it's like within probably like an hour, it doesn't matter if you're wearing a primer, it's going to make your skin look super oily because one, it already has that glowing effect in it and 
just going to look very unflattering. And then they say it's a photo ready HD foundation. I really can't say that that it is because um, in my opinion like I'm surprised that they put that much SPF in it like because they say don't use SPF whenever you're taking a picture because you're gonna look washed out or blue or some funky color and then this has like SPF 20 and they say oh you could take pictures with it well I for one tried it with taking pictures like I just use this this color as a highlighter um, you know in my t-zone and under my eyes like it, you can really tell in the pictures that I where exactly I put it like it was not good um, that's not that's not the, a great thing about it and then the, another thing that I don't like about it is that it's not transfer proof it will go everywhere if you get in contact with with clothes or if you put your hand on your face by accident it's gonna you're gonna see it um, but other than that like both of these products work pretty well um, you know like I say give it a try like it's worth a try it's not a big deal um, once again like um, like just with this this brand right here this photo ready stuff the selection is not the greatest it's um it's just really not a great selection it's gonna be very hard for somebody to like find a true color there are a lot of lucky people that actually found a color that works perfect for them it works fine it's just that if you have oily skin I just don't recommend it because you're gonna look like a glowing mess within an hour or if you're lucky within two hours it doesn't matter what primer you're using if you're using milk of magnesia it will still go through because sometimes I use that too the the milk of magnesia and then this stuff with it, it doesn't work um, so basically as after you heard my rant like I'm not gonna buy another one in this and then I don't know why they named this one caramel because if you look at it like this compared to this one it's like night and day but you know, it's Revlon, they call it whatever they want anything, you know, they just call it what they want. But um, yeah, like um, it's worth a try, you know, like, um, you know, everybody gets excited about a new foundation, especially like Revlon, they're really great for their foundation. So um, it just didn't work for me. It might work for you. So give it a try. And I hope you guys have like a great day and stuff. And this is what they look like. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll talk to you guys later. And the person singing in the background is my friend John. Um, he has a YouTube um, as well. I might put like a video of his for you guys to look at if you're interested. I don't know if he wants people stalking his uh, YouTube, but yeah. I don't know if I said MySpace before, but I'm in his YouTube. Like I might put a video. Um, but yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>